Welcome to Boyens for round 10 of this year's Grand Prix series. And I've just taken a few moments now to have a look at the air fences. We've seen some pretty horrifying accidents this year and the attrition rate has been very high. But one of the reasons riders are able to get up and about is because of the introduction of the air fence where when you run into it, it does have the ability to absorb all the energy out of an accident. And quite often we are seeing riders being able to dust themselves down and get back in the rerun. Fortunately now we do see the air fences right across all types of speedway, league racing and international speedway, so all riders are now benefiting from this added safety factor. Good news for riders, but it's still a dangerous sport because we're going to be chatting about some riders with some big injuries very shortly. Yeah, two weeks ago we saw a really nasty incident between Neil Christian Everson and Greg Hancock. And what was really quite horrifying was the incident to Greg Hancock's hand, where we saw quite clearly his hand getting sucked in underneath the mudguard. Two or three years ago, the mudguard regulation was actually changed, where the actual height of the mudguard was actually lowered. So the height of the mudguard is now significantly lower than it used to be. We can see here there isn't very much room between the actual tyre and the mudguard at all. Uh, previously, you could actually quite easily fit your arm underneath the mudguard. But when we saw that incident with Greg Hancock, didn't stop his arm being actually caught and pulled in. And there is a possibility, there is an argument to suggest that actually the new regulation may have made his injuries worse than, than the previous ones. Very difficult to say for sure, but certainly it's something that may need to be revisited. 